Hey guys, today I wanted to just do some mesh mask painting with you guys. Now, normally with the handful of mask painting videos I've done here on the channel, I've sort of just made them a time-lapse video with cool background music. I'm gonna do things a little different here. I'm gonna just talk with you guys instead. Talk about Airsoft, how things are going, I guess I'm sort of giving you guys this weird Bob Ross treatment, minus the beautiful artwork. First off, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out today. This video is definitely more chill than my usual stuff. I'm actually planning on taking a two week break or so from gameplay, so I'll probably be painting another mask after this one. Is it weird that I paint a lot of masks? You know, sometimes people at my local field who don't know me personally actually come up to me and ask why I repaint my mask or helmet bullets every other weekend. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't do that. I just own a lot of mesh masks that are painted. I guess you can say I've created a collection for myself. I don't know why I started doing this. I think I just like having a different face every other weekend at Airsoft. It keeps things fresh. Maybe if I'm feeling silly, I'll wear my black and yellow smiley mask, although I don't really tie my masks to how I'm feeling that particular day. I just sort of wear something different to help make my videos feel different, I guess. By the way, the mask I'm painting today for you guys is going to be a pretty simple one. I'm going for a cute smile with a bit of a sinister twist added to it. So, as I mentioned just a bit earlier, I said I was going to take a two week break from gameplay footage. This is mainly because right now, my local field has a lot of the play area off limits from players. A high production movie or something is being filmed there, so the film industry working there has pretty much hamstrung the options we have as players for most, if not the entire summer. I'm not upset with this by any means. I mean, with COVID hitting a lot of businesses financially, I'm really happy to see my local field staying afloat and reaping the benefits from the film industry during this difficult time. You gotta do what you gotta do, guys. But it is wearing down on me. Not a lot, just a little bit. Not just as a content creator, but as a player too. I am missing that beautiful little mixture of variety and scenery or change up in gameplay, if you will. I also don't want to upload what feels like the same scenery or gameplay every week for you guys. I want to keep things feeling fresh. <laughs> I mean, I can only handle so much dense bush and narrow bottlenecks on this side of the river, guys, week after week. This, however, this is nice. I actually find a lot of peace just sitting down and creating something cool like this. Just so you know, this is just acrylic paint from the dollar store. It's nothing fancy. After all, my mask does get shot at and the paint might or probably will chip off every now and then, just a little bit. Thankfully, it's super easy to touch up when I get home. I grab some fresh paint of that exact same color, I dab a little bit on, good to go. You know, what I like is that some people at my field have actually taken a little inspiration from my masks or my mask painting videos. Some people have actually walked up to me and shown me their painted mask or cool designs they've come up with. I think that's really cool. I think the airsoft field is a great place to express your creativity and, if possible, integrate it into your loadout. I like that especially during this tail end of the pandemic with everybody trying to see that light at the end of the tunnel, it's good to be creative or enjoy something you're still able to enjoy. That's why I'm glad I still have Airsoft. And I'm trying to enjoy it in moderation. All right, now here comes the sinister edge to my mask, random blood splatter. Yes, I know. Very creative and original idea. By the way guys, if you have any questions or topics you want me to ramble on about, feel free to throw them in the comments. I'm planning on doing another mask painting video soon, maybe I can talk about some stuff in the next video, or just let me know what you think about this style of mask painting video. Do you prefer music and painting? Or do you like it when I blab on about stuff? I mean it really doesn't matter to me. 
I would like to paint some more masks in between gameplay videos though. <laughs> I mean, imagine if I had like 50 unique mesh masks for Airsoft. I think I'd call that an addiction at that point. So it looks like we're just about done here with the mask. Now it's time to paint the bullets. Just so you guys know, they aren't real bullets, obviously. <laughs> They're just plastic bullets that are meant for, like, some sort of Halloween costume, I think. I think these are available on Amazon sometimes. I'm gonna keep it simple here. We're gonna paint them white and put some blood splatter on the bullets to match the look of the mask. And yes, I have a matching set of bullets for every mask that I've painted. If you've watched my videos, I'm sure you've noticed that by now. This cardboard or paint palette I use is so old, guys. I've literally been using it for about three years now. I think probably since the first mask I've ever painted. It's all peeling and covered in old paint. It's kind of like I'm emotionally attached to the thing like some weirdo. But this weirdo would also like to thank you guys for just watching my videos. Whether if you're a new viewer or you've been around since the beginning, it's been really fun thus far, and while the climb to the first 1,000 subscribers was definitely a long one, things are starting to appear like the channel is gaining some form of momentum, maybe? I think that's really cool. My overall goal here on the channel has always been to play with an Airsoft's positive, fun side of things. I think it's very easy to get caught up in the competitive, heated, hardcore, win-at-all-costs aspect of Airsoft as a content creator, but I think I've tried my best to keep things chill to some degree. I think that's why I feel a little more at home amongst the regular weekend players. I do hope this channel continues to grow. I hope there's many more mask painting videos ahead of us in the future, as well as gameplay of course. My local field does have a habit of changing things up every now and then in terms of layout, so that is very good for us. Anyway, I think I'm all done painting here, so let's put it all together, shall we? Haha, <laughs> yes, I like the way this looks. I had a lot of peaceful relaxation painting this new mask with you guys. For real, I mean that. It's nice every now and then just to chill. Let me know if you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble, I guess, while painting. Or maybe if you just prefer loud music and painting, that's good too. Maybe throw some topics or questions in the comments and I'll have something to talk about next time when we paint another mask. Either way, I really wanted to paint a new mask and just enjoy a more calm week. I got a lot of big plans in the works this summer or within a similar stretch of time, so I think I'm going to enjoy some painting for at least a week or two. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.